what I Brian, and I'm going to redo the shutdown cycle for Windows XP. I could just shut it off from here. Turn off Brian's computer. So you got to turn off the computer, then you press turn off. So it's that window so that you can't safely turn off the computer. You got standby, which could put your computer in a low power state so that you can quick room zoom the window session and restart. Which you could shut, which it shuts down windows and then starts windows again. So we're gonna click shut, turn off. Just all our programs are closed, so we'll log off anyway. Alright, it's saving the sense. Hope the anti LDR message doesn't come up again. Now the BSOD, so it's shutting the system down. And I reinstalled Windows XP, so there's, there's shouldn't be any more problems for that. So if you're starting the system, it takes a little while to restart. Okay, it's shut down. Turned off, right? We're gonna turn it back on. And this, this, this time it's, it's not gonna be a failure. Oh, good, it's not a failure. Yes. All right, now we're gonna wait till the next problem. We cannot, we don't want to get BSOD, so wait for this thing to boot up. All right, no more NTLDR error problem, no, and no more BSOD if there is gonna be one. Is there gonna be a BSOD? Uh, Oh no, so we're gonna log into our account. My password, no, I'm logging to my password. There we go, that's the shutdown and restarts in cycle for Windows XP. Wait, I'm gonna. And as you can see, it got wireless in it. So I got when I got Windows XP Service Pack Two. All right, you could subscribe to my channel, comment, rate, or share. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day and peace out. I use my British accent because I am still British.